guess that's it for today. Looks like... What's going on? Um, probably can't see it, but it looks like the little leather broke. Hopefully it just slipped out. I really don't want to have to cut a new piece to put in there. Let's take a quick look. Here, you can see I just finished redoing this. I put these bungee cords on that help return the, the sled here. So this just attaches there. So when I pull it forward, it shoots back fairly. Yep. Doesn't look like it broke, so that's good. And I can put it back where it belongs because that's important too, seeing that little mark there on the leather because uh, this side's working perfect. I've been having problems with the other side. It is causing some trouble, but not, not much now. I've been adjusting. Um, if the leather, the leather catch part, if it's off or leaning to the side, it will send the shuttle flying in the wrong direction. And then these pins keep moving on me. You can see this one is shorter than that one, and this side is longer. But uh, this one looks like it's holding in pretty good. And that's what catches the... Is that a... No, it looks like we're okay. This is what catches the shuttle as it flies across. You can see it's got this sharp end on it, and that goes right into this little part here. And if it's leaning like this, then it will send the shuttle shooting this way. But I keep adjusting it. I soak it in water. Alcohol actually works really nice. It softens it up. And then you just need to let it sit. This one, I think I can simply unbolt this and put it back. So let's do that real quick and see if we can get this back up and running again. Yeah, I just keep the tools in here. No reason of taking them out. run into so many problems recently that need to be dealt with. Yeah, looks like we should be able to. I think it's the, that feels a little small. Okay, I was right the first time. So I put a little graphite in the grooves down here, but you need to do that and then clean up the mess. Otherwise it'll fall down here and send it across your, your cloth. So I put graphite and a little bit of oil. Uh, I use three and one oil and that makes this slide really nicely. Uh, the same back here, but I don't use graphite back here. Uh, I think a little bit of grease would be better, but that's just to keep this moving and it doesn't dig into the wood. So just a little bit of three in one seems to work just fine. And I can see it's working just fine because it's not digging into my wood. So let's give this thing a shot and see if I got it fixed. And I think that'll be it for today. I've actually got quite pretty far. I've gone around a little bit. You can see the beginning there. I am, where am I on the chart? So I've done this section, the white, here, here, here. So I'm right here now. I'm about ready to do that. I think I'm going to do this today. And that means I'm kind of at the halfway mark. Well, okay, that is the halfway mark. So I've gotten halfway, so I should be able to finish this off tomorrow. Measuring, I think I've reached my six inches. Nope, not yet. Another, another two passes. So what I'm measuring here, this is supposed to be a square box. And this way is right at the six inch, almost at the six. Actually, it's a little short of six inches on this one. 
Some of them are right at six inches, so technically I can stop here because that's, that's where it should be. It was supposed to be six inches, but not all of them work out that way. So even this one's short of six inches, so. Okay, we'll stop. See, that one's even shorter, that's five and a half. But still, the eye won't be able to tell, that is, that's pretty square. So we'll stop there and switch to white. On here, this is fairly easy. There's a little slot here on the sides. This falls into that slot when you slide it onto here. Lock it in place. This one's a little bit harder to get in because it's not twisted ply. But there you go. This in. Shoot the white. Oh, someone got stuck. Yep, we have a clog. So this happens when you roll too close to the edge or sometimes when you roll this up, you'll see that the yarn starts to push its way out this way. When that happens, you're usually gonna get a clog. And I think I saw that happen and I didn't fix it. No big deal, pull it up. And then I can just roll this back on. But the main thing that's annoying about this is that it messes up everything over here and you've got to fix all that. Uh, sometimes it's easier just to cut it and start over. So there you go. Uh, wasn't expecting two problems to occur while I was recording this, but that's okay. You get to see how that works, just in case you're curious what it looks like down in there. And you can see what the bungee's for, because when I pull this, it sends that back ready for the shuttle to land. But that's where we're at. Now this isn't perfect, but that's okay. That's what's going to make this really nice. It's my first one, first big one, I should say. And the edges aren't bad. Once this gets washed, it will look beautiful. You know, a few mistakes here and there, but that's what's so nice about that it's hand done. And considering I've only been doing this for, what, uh, maybe nine months now I've been weaving. And though this is a few days after finishing the blanket, but here it is. This is the finished blanket. Um, I didn't record any of the uh, other parts of me doing this, but there it is. It's about four and a half feet across by seven feet long. So there you go. God bless. As you can see, it's snowing. This is March 22nd. So we are well into spring and had a ice storm and snow. Uh, it did get up to about 50 today, so quite a bit of it melted, but um, it was quite thick. I think we got like seven, eight inches last night. There you go. Hopefully I'll be back to weaving sometime in the next month or so, but I've got a lot of work to do outside, so we're switching to outdoor videos now and doing irrigation and all kinds of other things. Anyway, God bless and bye.